NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs are holding plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's Todd Gurley's Rams going up against Hyde's 49ers. All right, Larry, from the heart of Silicon Valley, there's a look inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Set to return, here's Raheem Mostert. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Now Hoyer. And from the Hoyer. Defense. Why is Hoyer in? Okay, that's weird. And it'll be a second and long. Beathard to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. All right, here we go. Blue Niners! Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Detroit! Detroit! Now let's go! Blue Line! Blue Line! Over, over! Over, over! Go on, go on! 319! No, 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 no. Check. Patriots! Patriots! Bathroom. What the hell was that? a great opening series defensively you force what should be a three and out on your opening possession and great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth and his third year on is the punter bradley pinion to kick it away he'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away this is taken at about the 14. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Uh, uh, 
Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. room there ultimately just up past the 25 and no further give him three yards on the run there that still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up and the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down Throwing on third, gone. And this is going to be incomplete. You used to have a coach just tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. That block. Hit the blocks. Hit the blocks. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. on the play back at the 37 yard line that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. No, 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 no. Detroit! Detroit! Now let's go! Blue Landing! To throw is Bethard. Bad throw. First catch of the game for George Kittle. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. So the offense has it first and 10. All right, here we go. Blue lining! Blue lining! They'll send a receiver in motion left. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Moster. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, -oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Throw here, Bathard in a heavy traffic. What the hell was that? Good positioning and it's picked off. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46 yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception.
interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Last year, Gurley, 74% of L.A.'s carries. That's the highest percentage in the league. But no real payoff because they finished 31st in the league in rushing. I think as a team, they ran for 78 yards per game. They had a 1,000-yard receiver and Kenny Britt out wide, but they really didn't scare people downfield. And because of that, they stacked the line of scrimmage and stuffed the run game. So it'll be first down here after the run. First carry for Matt Forte. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. Call. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. to the ground this time with Gurley and eventually brought down but it's near the five at the six now we've got whistles and a timeout here yeah it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field while the training staff takes a peek we'll take a break and here comes play number six on this drive Here's gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Tavon Austin. And that'll bring up second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And same result. He's going to take this just to the line of scrimmage before running into a brick wall. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Now gone. Dancing to his left. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. 
Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Oh, this ball hangs out to the right. It's no good. And this remains a right. game. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. immediately there no gain on the play there second down wasn't able to get anything no gain fumbled once already maybe he's being a little careful not necessarily on that play but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere oh without a doubt because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it and that's exactly what he tried to do on that play but it didn't gain him any yardage All right, here we go. here's Bathard to throw and he whips that one incomplete there. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Hurry up, here we go. Green. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. On play action, they'll throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And they will set up. Maybe I should have kept playing on this. Throwing is awful. It's not going anywhere close to where I want it. Gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down, here's Goff. His throw incomplete. Gerald Everett is tied in, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And they insert their dime package, six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. Out of the gun, gone. He's going to get this to Austin complete. And he showcased the spin, but couldn't do much else as he's wrangled down. Just a five yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven.
throw is Beathard. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, my God. Through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. <sighs> Took long enough. Play there for the Niners. 61 yards. When the 49ers were in the red zone last year, they finished with 6.68% of the time. That was second best in the NFL. They've got it here in the red zone, first and 10. Let's go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Back to throw Beathard. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh! I had three guys on it, man. Come on. Shouldn't surprise any of us, right? When you're two and fourteen, you probably will lead the league in fumbles as they did. How would they have fifteen last year? Fifteen of them, yep, and a two and fourteen record, kind of indicative. Following the fumble recovery, golf. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end Everett. That throw good for four. It's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. The throw on second down is gone. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Over the middle, he hits Austin. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. He'll return it from the six. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall at the 28. A great return there of 22 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop, 
Good luck trying to track him down. And those plays so demoralizing for the defense. Absolutely, because you've done so much work trying to keep people in front of you. When they're past you and behind you, that's a tough one to swallow. Gold now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. On first down, it's Gurley. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Three yards to go here on second down. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And down right near the 25. Able to break through that initial contact. Got him some extra yardage. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Golf. And that is incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 16. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new yes. set of downs. from it. Stop short of the 35. Three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And a solid run down inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Yes. A good Ow. effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And it's good to make it 14 0. Gold now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. 
And the Rams now coming out on the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Offense comes to the line now. First and ten. Gurley again here on first down. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Second down following the run. They go play action with Gurley. Now Goff. Now he's flushed out left. He'll let it. And he fires yes. it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. If you combine last okay. week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then hit pass defense is going to be excellent. You're dropping eight. Where are you going to go with the football? The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've hit halftime here. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. And we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is knocked down from the side at the 16. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. The Rams on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun, here's gone. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, 
and tackle it immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Take it in at the 22. Oh. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Oh, yeah, did you like injure my guy? On the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll I hate you so much right now. drive in the air middle of the field it's robinson and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line that throw good for four it's second down when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage Come on! Clock's running down. On second down, high. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47 yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now high. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. They run it again with Hyde. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk down right around the 25. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play of who you think's going to get the ball, where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play you did, you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. The Niners on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The Niners on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 14. scrimmage no gain on the play there and it'll bring up fourth down Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal this will be kicked from the 42 it's a 52 yard attempt and his kick is absolutely perfect and the lead will grow it's now 17 nothing so put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. On first down, it's gone. Now left, he's got it to Everett. Now the ball comes loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Oh, get in. And he'll take this into oh, the end zone. Suck. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously decline that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Uh-oh. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. They go play action here on first down. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. 15 yards through the air and a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. Oh, oh, oh read that yours, man. Incomplete and excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. On second and ten, gone. Pass incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. <laughs> to the air again, gone. Flush to his right. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Yeah, I'd like to see Nothing Goff, Juke, Navarro Bowman out of his shoes like that. Down. Fresh set of downs here. Set up the screen to Gurley. 
And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So only three there on the screen at second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So here we go, first and ten now. Now a play fake here on first down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the guard, Navarro Bowman. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Offense in a good spot here. Second and two. Here's Beathard to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And the offense lining up first and 10. Play clock winding down. First down, a run with Hyde. And dropped at the 35, but able to display some strength on the run. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And some options here for the offense on second and two. Detroit! Detroit! All right, here we go. Again, it's high. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Moster. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They run high. Oh, some strong running. And eventually brought yes. it's near the five at the six. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And here comes play number six on this drive. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Now let's go. 319. So the chains are on their sides. It's first and goal from the six. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Second and goal now from the eight. Well, now they'll try the end around. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third and goal. Right 
When the play clock's running down. Bathard. Being chased out left. He can run, and they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. C.J. Bathard with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the 49ers, they're just pouring it on. And the lead is now an even 30. Gold now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. The Rams on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for gone. And he finds Austin complete. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Flushed out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. They were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? 
So for the 49ers, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara. interceptions anything else there looks good Hyde finally had a good day granted most of it was that one run that run out of it and probably another typical day can't do nothing Until next time, this is Execution Double Nine. Oh, bad quality. Execution Double Nine. Three and oh. Three straight. No touchdowns allowed. What's up, Colin? I'm coming for you.